What's going on my dudes one step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to sector in mortal kombat 1 today i'm giving you some tips and tricks on how to play sector some best strategies you need to be using and of course some fun and easy combos to get you started today as we get in there go ahead and pause your screen right here because this is going to be the universal language that we're using so that anybody who's watching on any console can understand what we're saying subscribe here for more mortal kombat content and let's talk about sector sector is actually a ton of fun and i love her moves i love her kids and i can't wait to go over everything that she has to offer so let's start off with her normals and things you need to know about her lows her overhead her best mids her best combo starter stuff like that so for lows you got four three and that four three can go into cameos like this you got back three but back three can go into specials like this back three four can also go into cameos like this so just off of lows, 4-3, back 3, you got a couple different ways to uh, start your combo route. Now, unfortunately, she only has one pretty good overhead. Like most characters, it's your back 2. And like most of the characters, it's pretty slow. You can go back 2-2. Two, two. If you're fast enough, that can go into cameos. But usually, you're just doing the back 2 into a special, into a cameo, like this. So again, you got back three for the lows. You got four, three for the lows. Back two for the overheads. Now, what about your mid options? Speaking of, she's got some really good ones. Her forward four is an 11 frame on startup mid that puts her in the air. Great combo extension. And the reason why you being in the air matters because she's got aerial specials. In the air, she can do down back one, down back four. So after your forward four, while you're in the air, you can do those aerial version of those specials. So you can go forward four and then just do down back four like this. It's such a great punish tool. 4-4 four, four can lead into some amazing combos. Great interrupter, great punisher. Love that move. Same thing goes for the forward 2-1-2. Two, two. Mid starter, pretty damn fast. Puts you in the air for aerial uh, specials. Can go into some great combos. A great punisher. I love this move. Just like this. Not necessarily a mid, but a combo string that is pretty underrated that I don't see a lot of sector players be using. is 4-2 grab. It's not an actual grab, but it kind of staggers your opponent there. And you can use cameos off of that grab. You can't go into special. Like you can't do 4-2 grab and then down back 4, but you can go into cameo. But for your mids, your best option could be your 4-4 four four and your 4-2-1-2. Four two two. Now, what about your wake up option? Well, just so you know, your back forward two does have armor when you enhance it. So that's probably your best option just for armor alone. And it looks like this. However, if your opponent knocks you down and tries to walk away and try to zone you, down back four on a wake up is kind of a teleport, meaning it'll take you to your opponent. It is unsafe if they block it, but it can stop them from zoning if they try to. Back forward two for the armor or down back four. It kind of depends on what situation you're in while uh, you're coming up from wake up. You just got to feel it out. You know what I'm saying? Now let's talk about aerial combos, the ones you're going to be using the most often. Sector has a couple. Three two is a great ender because it does awesome damage. You'll see us end a few combos with that. Two one two is your bouncer to continue the ground combos. And one three four is uh, just a great damager as well. But you're typically doing one three into a cameo or uh, or a special so you do use all of her uh, aerial strings they all just call for different situations but you'll see us use them quite often now what about setups and or strategies the sector might have as a character well down back one is a great setup move you throw it out there and then rush your opponent and then they're afraid to like attack you or punish you back because they are afraid of that missile incoming. She is Sector. She actually has her own missiles that she can use for her own setup. So I find myself a lot of the time ending my strings, ending my combos with down back one so that way they already have pressure as they're getting up. And that might look like this. So rather than like finish a full long combo for that little bit of extra damage, if it's not near the end of the game, I'll typically stop and that combo the down back one just to initiate that pressure on wake up. Great strategy overall. Make that missile go, you know, close, mid, far. We're gonna hold close to us, hold down for mid, hold forward for far. And you can even hold up to make like an anti-air missile. Kind of cool. She's not meant to zone, but I mean, you can with like back four to one and stuff. If you enhance that back four to one, it does eat the opponent's projectile. And that looks like this. Again, you can zone if you need to or want to, but strategy wise, I would recommend ending your combos and your strings with down back one just for that wake up pressure. Also, strategy wise, Sector has a ton of cameo compatibility. So, this is where I recommend testing out your favorite cameos or even different cameos to see how you want to play Sector. You want combo extension by using cameos like Scorpion. Or do you want teleport combos by using Mataro like this? Using Mataro's teleport outside of that kind of combo is just great for mobility overall. You get that low for mixed game. 
you gotta find out how do you want to play sector what kind of utility do you want what kind of combos do you want she's got awesome cameo compatibility and i love that now for certain notes and or tips and tricks you need to know regarding her move set she has a unique move which is a uh, two one but as you see that's not doing anything as it is you gotta hold the two which charges this up and if you just hold and let go it's a pop-up mid that just takes so long you're probably not going to use that in an actual fast-paced fight you can hold the two and then press the one last second to get kind of a, a stagger like this and that's great because that can go into certain combos like with certain specials this but if you're holding two to like charge this charge you can press down down to cancel it and now our hands are glowing so now we can do that two one combo whenever we want like we get that stagger by just pressing two one as, as long as we're charged up but there are other ways to charge that up besides just holding down two and hoping you get it off in an actual fight Cetra has a very unique anti-zoning tool down back three the shield here you can hold that and just like completely stop their zoning it stops zoning it stops pushback and if you successfully land a, a anti-zone tool like this you can cancel into your own zone by doing your zoning inputs like back four to one right after connecting it and that looks like this not only that but when we successfully uh hit that as you see our fists are already charged up so now we can do that two one whenever we want to like this so you can stop their zoning and in doing so you can cancel into your own projectiles and you charge your fists up for the two one stagger huge tool also side note yes that back forward one as you saw earlier does burn your opponent so it does burn damage over time like they're still burning right now and that's pretty cool but it staggers them so much you can do like a uh, cancel combo like mataro teleport into another combo as they're still burning high timing but it can happen she's one of the very few characters in the game with an air dash and that's really cool for extending aerial combos as you might already guess so that can look like this But funny enough, you can also use that extended air dash after strings that put you in the air, like forward two, one, two, or forward four. So you can do forward four and immediately do an air dash to do aerial strings rather than just go into aerial special like this. If you do that though, for some reason that uses a bar, whereas normally it doesn't. So I just find myself doing specials after this. You can still combo and you don't need the bar to do that. Whereas doing the dash after that move costs the whole bar. Same thing after four, two, one, two. You can do the dash uh, even twice, but uses a bar each time. So again, I find myself just doing a four, two, one, two, and then a special, then use the bar elsewhere to get the full combo. So you can do it i think that's more situational than anything also regarding her anti-zoning tool down back three for those that don't know you can actually enhance that and why you might want to enhance it is because if you don't and you successfully connect an anti-zoning move like that you can only go into your projectiles like back forward one down back one you can't go into any other special but if you enhance it and connect the full anti-zone tool you can go into any special like down back four like this so that might be one reason why you enhance the anti-zoning tool in the moment you just gotta decide is it worth the bar or not or do you want to just like anti-zone and then you know zone them right back now let's talk about cameo recommendations my first few are ones that can just extend combos in the air on the ground off of certain strings like uh, scorpion sonya movado coming off strings like your back three four that is gonna be huge so scorpion allows us to do that like this and of course, any of those cameos can also extend uh, your strings like uh, 4 2 grab and then cameo. You can do forward 4 and then go into specials, or you can do forward 4 3. And as you see, that puts our opponent in the air, allowing for uh, cameos to help us extend that. Like again, Scorpion, Movado, Sonya. And that might look like this. But again, same thing applies to cameos like Movado that do the exact same thing. You can also do it off your back three, four as well. Bavada also allows for grab combos like this. Sonya allows for mix like that overhead. So you can go low overhead combo, aerial combo extension like this. As I showed off earlier, Mataro allows for enhanced back four to one burn combos like this. You can just use a teleport for mobility. You get the low for mix. You have your own anti-zoning tool, but Matara also offers another one. Chameleon also offers burn combo. You get ground combo extension like this. Having the overhead is also great just for mix. But you can extend certain combos like this. 
So a sector actually benefits off of every single form that Chameleon has. Great cami recommendation for sure. Now that you know the basics, you know the moves, you have tips, you got tricks. Let's go ahead and go over some fun and easy combos to get you started today. We'll do with and without cameos. First, without. Now how about some with cameos? With all that being said, my dudes, let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of Sector as a character in Mortal Kombat 1? Do you like her? Do you hate her? Is she your main? She might be my new main. I don't know. If you found this video informative and or entertaining, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content. Turn that bell on so you don't miss a thing. Take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more Mortal Kombat news, guides, reactions, and more.